Tuesday the, I think I've just seen, 29th. Um, had a six great show, hopefully seen the pictures. Um, we're back to the plot, not being here since Saturday, cutting the very first flowers, and we really are now in a, a sea of a flush, um, by the looks of it. Um, the oak wood, absolutely flying, and we've had a few cooler days, so now they're actually nice, reasonable flowers with centres. Uh, it was a bit warm leading up to Essex. Flowers like that probably aren't going to make um, Hyde Hall, which is the next show. It'd be perfect to show now, but there's some in there with like that, bigger centres, and they're the ones we'll be caning. So we start the process again. Water, cane, deadhead. The next run of giants is coming through. There's one or two there by the looks of it. And obviously flowers like that, which have pretty much been and gone, will be uh, removed. More oak wood. I've got a few um, uh, well, the AC Casper up there by the looks of it. But they might be a bit young, some. The Jill were finally uh, coming in at a flush, apart from this row, which is the second stop. And there's plenty of Marys there, as long as they go through the ring. Plenty more um, light and softer gleams. And we've got, hopefully, with centres, some uh, Scamsdale Jane. I didn't deadhead anything on the palms because they were coming quite big, so I've left the flowers and you can see some of them are popping, but there's a few in there as well. So today's water, cane and deadhead, ready for an early cut tomorrow. So I finished caning up. Um, what's the time now? Quarter to five. Um, on the Tuesday, so I just thought, struggling with Goldcrest getting a sensible size centre and any depth on them. Um, these have all got reasonable centres. We're not going to be judged um, now till Thursday morning. So I've cut those, put them in water, under the shade netting that's under the cover. The sun's pretty much gone in now, it's quite cool. I'll leave them there overnight and they'll have another 12 hours or so cut and then water, see if that helps them, we shall see. Friday the 1st of September, as you've hopefully seen, a really good show at Hyde Hall, um, winning the Six Vars Championship, uh, best exhibit and show for the nine Winholm Dying, um, runner up best exhibit and show for the winning six Giants, um, best Vars of Dex with Winholm, best Vars and show with Winholm, um, best ball with Mary's. Best Pom with Gertler, which is here. Hopefully, <coughs> got a few for tomorrow. Um, what else was it? Best Giant with uh, Aggie White from the Championship. Um, and I won the nine miniature ball and the small ball miniature ball Pom. I think that's all I staged. But I'm running out of time trying to organise the show and stage flowers isn't the easiest of tasks. But there's two shows down, we've got another one tomorrow, Kent. 
And there's a couple of really lovely, not massive, but really lovely Bryn Turfle here. Now it's got a reasonable centre in it, and the question is, will it hold for national? But I don't think it will, in the sense that if you show these flowers too old, like that, they get shaggy, really shaggy. Um, one over there, really shaggy. So I think, really, if it looks like a good flower, it ain't going to be like that in three days' time, which is when we'll be cutting for national to be judged Tuesday morning. So we've got four days. Four days that'll be big and shaggy. So I'm going to hopefully have one or two really nice brin. So that's a little bit older. You can see it's just losing its colour. I'm just getting a little bit flicky. So that's a lovely one. That's a lovely one. Lovely and round. Good tidy form. And then there's a few uh, Aggie White. That one, I don't know. It's got a big, big centre. But uh, you know, I don't want to take cut flowers off that will take me to the National. And I really do need three giant decks for the National. But I'm thinking, four days time, I always pull these out as I, as I see them. Four days time, flowers like that. Very big centres, a dippy hole in the middle there. Probably half open, maybe. I think they're the flowers. Um, like that one there, that one there, um, maybe that one. I think they're the flowers that might make national. So we shall see. It's unusual. I'm caning. It's quarter past two in the afternoon. I just needed a rest this morning. Um, so I've just started caning. The Dianes are uh, nearly running out of puff on that bed. Um, I should just about get a third show out of those 24 plants. Or 26, but there's a couple of iffy ones. And I think there's just about the first flower up there from this bed. Um, and I'm hoping that, again, flowers are... Three quarters open, four days, ones like that. Might just get me to the national. There, there. Maybe even those, you never know. There's a few, but there'll be a few from there and a few from here, and hopefully that'll get me a sensible vase. I like the idea of split splitting them. That's probably the first cuttable flower from this bed, although that's probably a a Sunday flower, maybe. I'll find out. Um, that definitely is a Sunday flower. So they're there, and I think I'll try that principle again, but I'll stagger the, the cuttings and the plants so I don't have to hit this second batch quite so hard because it, it, it did make them cough, and you can see this whole wedge in the middle here um, that are just shorter, not got so much health about them, so much vigour. And that is really just a shock from me chopping them very hard back from almost budding plants to to nothing. So um, we'll try again. I think we're learning. Just to take you through over here. It'd be much better to have someone on the other side of the camera. But the Mary's, it's got a slightly oval centre, but they're still coming. There's a sea of flowers and have been. Problem is, as you can see, there's not a lot I can do about it. <laughs> Is it summer hitting the covers? Um, but most are, are below, but I'm not sure that flower there is going to open particularly well with a polythene roof on its head. So that's just something I've learnt. This stock of Mary's is, is big and strong, so it needs to stay in the middle of the covers, so perhaps I'll bring it over to the other cover so it's in the middle row next year not um, on the outside edge but it's still some good flowers I mean a flower like that's lovely but I'm pretty sure that that won't go through the miniature ring um, I've put the ring on some of these and they do so they'll be alright it's off to Gleam's in a good flush now it's probably as many as I've had all season on it um, and they're alright
Not much wrong with them. The one or two flowers that have passed, and these I hope may well see me through to the national, or see me at the national, um, and ones like that will see me at Kent. Or we'll see it. There's a few there. Skemsdale Jane seems to be settling down in the centres. It was really blown through quick early on. And the second chop downs have just started to come into um, flower, albeit in some cases a little bit later than I'd like. But this is the principle of it. This bed, these are first flowers. This bed, we're in the middle, middle end of a flush. So if I can get these coming through a little bit sooner, so I'll just adjust my timings a bit. As this bed starts to finish, but there's still some of this left, this will be in a full belt, which will give me more flowers later for the, the for shows like the National. But the centres are holding now. That's quite a nice middle. I'll be quite happy to show you that, but I don't think I'd cut that. I'll be cutting something like that for uh, judging tomorrow morning. If I can find five. Um, I'm not going to take too many to Ken. I really could do without the aggravation of trying to stage hundreds of flowers um, and my partner's coming with me so uh, I don't really want to make it a, a manic session for her otherwise I put a right off so that's where we're at 1st of September my feeling is I've probably I'm going to miss the boat on some I think the giants um, I could have done with what I've got now probably and what I had yesterday in about three days time but hopefully I'll find three hopefully I'll find six um, but there and the Casper I think that's just going to quite just miss the boat I didn't show you the jewel um, it's been small but I stripped into it and we're starting to see some reasonable flowers now they're quite nice good colour um, and again, they're coming through, but I'm going to have, I mean, this whole second lot that I have did late, um, or a week later than these, not knowing this was a late variety, they're going to, well, they'll be Harrogate, if not um, after. Still finding side shoots. I sort of stopped, stopped going through when I knew I'd got past the national takes. Um, I will go through again, hopefully next week, I'll have a bit of time. Right, let's see you at the shows. Just a quick vid, not a lot of time, it's just lights, quarter past six, um, I'm very misty out there, which is quite worrying, um, hopefully it's just not me, um, it's going to be very hot again today, so I'm going to keep cutting and cutting, but it's going to get hot, I don't like doing that, so as per usual, start the biggest, work down, but other than the giants, there is only um, smalls and miniatures and palms, so we just work our way through. So I'm just cutting the giants. I could do with six for the six, three for the Terry Clark for a minute, um, and maybe the three singles. So what's that? Nine, twelve. So I could do with twelve giants um, to start with, if there is there. Um, and we've already got six, so these are pretty impressive. Oh, Aggie Whites. And those three are quite good, or probably better. There's another three in there. I think there's another three or four in there, so I think it'd be nine Aggie. Not sure if there's a good enough Bryn there. There's a couple of younger blooms. There might be one or two bluey in there that can go with them. 
and then the second bit of dying has just started to kick in. I'm trying to keep this short. Um, as you can see, it just started to flower. These are the first flowers on the on those plants. Um, so, and these are the last flowers on those plants. Mary's are big. There should be some in there. No, I managed to get through caning on the skim cell chain and the softer gleam. There is also some dual. If you need them, and hopefully those for Jane might hold, and there's enough of them. And then the palms. There's three suspects there. <laughs> um, and even some. Uh, Goldcrest, maybe, but I've got to give them a cut. Alright, sorry I don't catch up in between, but I tend to be a bit busy putting flowers in the vases, and hopefully I've got it sort of focused at the exhibits and pop up in between. But this is a, a national cut, the, the important one. Thursday, uh, 7th September, so the Thursday after national. Still a few flowers out, but this heat is really romping them through. Um, it's been 30 odd degrees pretty much every day this week. Um, well, it has been every day this week, hitting 30. So the flowers are bolting through, just watered again. And been watered since Sunday. I watered, I think. Um, just to see if I can hold them out till possibly sorry on Sunday. This bed of dianes is pretty much done now. There's the odd one or two flowers in amongst them, but most of them are sort of pop the centres now. I think that one there is just about right, but it's not going to hold till Sunday. Um, there's a few in this bed, we're into a swing on them now, so there might be um, a vase out of them, I hope. The giants are pretty much at their end now. Um, there's one or two flowers in there, I could probably do quite a nice six today. Um, whether flowers like that will hold to a Sunday, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, it's a bit small and young now, but say 30 degrees, soon the uh, romps them centres through. There's a bit of moisture on the uh, cover, but I'm not getting any any damping off. Um, this is a lovely bloom of, of Louis. There. Again, not massive, but neat. Um, and the Casper in full belt now, but I don't know if it's quite the quality it should do. Uh, well, needed for what we need it for. As are the Jill, romping into a full flush. Um, struggling to struggle to get a vase though. Some of these have just gone. A small one, just about there. I think that's going to be a near miss. Mary's still going nicely. Again, that won't hold till Sunday, but it's a nice layer. And there's plenty of them. Softer gleams still uh, going away. Won't be that many after this week left. Um, one or two buds like that still coming out, but there won't be that many. That's the well timed. Same for the Skimsdale Jane. The intention was to just limp into Surrey if possible, but I'm not sure I'll even do that. Um, we shall see. And the palms just keep on going. Um, I've had to leave dead flowers on just to try and get the size down on them. Um, and notice with this heat, you get this very pink centre on them, um, which don't matter as long as they've all got it, but that they're. Uh, are standing out as being slightly different to how they were early in the season, but they're still some nice flowers. So focused amongst them. Um, so we shall see if we can find a vase. Surrey will be the, probably the standard for that's been all year. Softer gleams, Diane, Marys, and Gertler. Um, I think that's pretty much. All I can uh, do. Um, not even sure I'm allowed to use a small ball and a miniature ball, but we shall see. 
All right. This might be the last one, but I'll do one for you when I take the covers off, which I reckon will be Wednesday next week, because that's the next opportunity I'm going to have. Ta-da.